Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to the set of questions on complex numbers. We'll take up about six, seven questions here to master the technique of answering multiple choice questions based on complex numbers. We'll begin with very simple example. I hope you remember that square of i, the complex number, is minus one, which is to say that square root of minus one is same as iota i. That's the imaginary part, right? The very first question here is to evaluate i to the power of 23, whether it is one, minus one, plus one, or minus one. Now here is a way to do it. Think about representing complex number on a coordinate plane. Now this is a very special coordinate plane since we have real numbers along this axis, right? And complex along the y-axis. So when we talk about i, in that case, uh, we could represent real number one on this side, i vertically upwards. So this becomes negative one. And here we have negative i. Now if you look into powers of i, we could write one as i to the power of zero, correct? i could be written as i to the power of one. Minus one is written as i square. And minus i is basically i cubed. Then again, if I do i to the power of 4, we get plus 1. So it goes into this cycle. So if it is a multiple of 4, you get plus 1. Right? So if I divide by 4 and the remainder is 1, then you get this is your remainder. So what you see here is that exponent is mod 4. Okay, now that really means you need to divide the number by 4. So whatever this, if we write something like, uh, let us say, i to the power of n, then you have to divide n by 4, correct? So whatever you get here as the remainder, that is the that is the final exponent. Since we know all multiples of 4, that is i to the power of 4, is equals to just 1, right? So all multiples, that is i to the power of 4 n is just 1, correct? So that's the whole idea. Now that should help you to answer all such questions. So the very first one here is i to the power of 23. So if I divide 23 by 4, what do I get? 5 times is 20, I get 3. So i to the power of 23 is same as i to the power of 3, which is minus i. You get an idea. So this is a portion of 3, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. For smaller numbers, you can count, just as I did, right? So, you could go clockwise and count. So, what we get here as minus i, option D is the right answer. So, I hope the steps are clear to you, correct? So remember, i to the power of 4n is 1. And that helps you to reduce this number to 1 to 4. And then you can use this table to find the answer. Let's move on. Take the next question. This time, we'll evaluate 4i to the power of 30 divided by 6i to the power of 33. So we'll learn how to divide these complex numbers. So we'll apply the normal rules. 
we can simplify this as 2 over 3 dividing both by 2 and i to the power of 30 minus 33 which is 2 over 3 i to the power of minus 3 or which is 2 over 3i. Now this is not an option here as you can see, right? Uh, 2 over 3i cube, I'm sorry. Now i cube is not an option. i cube could be written as minus 2 over 3i. Now that is also not an option. So which one is the right answer? So you get stuck at times. Now here is a neat way of doing it. Think like this. i to the power of 4, as I said, is just 1. So I could have written this. Let's go back to our question. 4 over 6, i to the power of 30 over i to the power of 33. So if I add 4 here, it is just multiplying by 1, correct? So we could also think about writing this as 2 over 3 i to the power of 34 over i to the power of 33. Correct? And that gives you what? 33 goes from 34 and you're left with 2 over 3 i as your answer. Correct? So this gives you 2 over 3 i as your answer. Now how do you get the answer after coming to this step? Look at that also. Now if you solve like this, you need to rationalize. So at this stage, you have to multiply by i, both numerator and denominator. So what you get here is minus 2i over 3i square, which is negative 1, right? So now you could write this as 2 over 3i, since i square is negative 1. So this negative cancels with i square right so the best way is let's go with the best solution it is definitely to rewrite this question or think about it like 4 over 3 now this is less let's make it higher i to the power of 34 over i to the power of 33 and then it is simple to get this solution correct so if you do that ways it doesn't take much time you avoid all these steps so that is the concept which is very important to understand. So I hope you got it. So what we learned here is normal way of doing. So that is, this way is normal, right? So let me write normal. But since it didn't match, we rationalize. That is the part of rationalization. And then we got the answer. The other way is to remember that i to the power of 4n is 1. And this really helps to get the answers quickly. Okay. Let's move on and see the other types of questions. Now we will see how to multiply terms with complex numbers. 5 plus 2i times 2 minus 3i. So we just have to expand, right? So multiply by 5 first, we get 10 minus 15i, and then with 2i, both the terms, right? Just as we did here. So we get plus 4i minus 6i square. Now we could write this as 10 minus 15 plus 4 gives us minus 15 plus 4 is minus 11i, and here we get i squared is negative. Let me add one more step, right? And this is negative and this positive. It is 11i plus 6, or 16 minus 11i. So option B is the right option. I have taken extra time just to explain the steps, but many of them could be cut down. Next question is, you need to find reciprocal of 2 plus 3i. Now, this is a very common question asked in many tests like SAT. Reciprocal means 1 over. So, it is 1 over 2 plus 3i. That is the reciprocal. Now, 
we need to rationalize it. So the idea is to learn how to rationalize. To rationalize, you multiply by its conjugate. So times conjugate. Now what is conjugate? You have to change the sign, it becomes a conjugate. 2 minus 3i is conjugate of 2 plus 3i. Now when you multiply, in the numerator we get 2 minus 3i. However, in the denominator, it is like difference of square. So you get 2 square, which is 4, minus 3i square. Now we get 2 minus 3i. So always when you do conjugate of complex numbers, this actually becomes positive because i squared is negative. So we get here 4 plus 9 since i squared is negative 1. So that makes this positive, right? And therefore, the answer is 2 plus 3i over 13. So that is option C for us. Next question is match the form of 3 over 2 minus 5i. Now let this be your practice question. This is similar to what we did just now. Correct? So you need to rationalize. That is multiply and divide by its conjugate to get the answer. So let's do it. 3 over 2 minus 5i times 2 plus 5i and divide by 2 plus 5i. So that gives you 6 plus 5 times 3, 15i in the numerator. And this becomes 4 plus 25. Do you see? Don't have to waste time. It is square with sign changed. Perfect. Now we get 6 plus 15i over 29. Right? At this stage, we were good to find the solution, which is option A. 6 plus 15i over 29. So with this we come to the end of our questions based on complex numbers. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.